Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the 18th annual Lake Havasu City Professional Bowlers Invitational Classic presented by the Ramada Express Hotel and Casino in Laughlin, Nevada. I'm Van Finney from Lucky 108. I'm here tonight, my co-commentator, Tony Reyes, three-year professional bowler. And Tony, it's good to have you. You're one of the upcoming stars. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm just having a good time trying to, trying to see how it goes, you know, trying to live a, live a life as a bowler, see how it is. Well, uh, you uh, you had quite a good life last week, Tony, in the AC Delco. Yeah, I, Tell yeah us last, about that. last week was a special week, you know. I, I was kind of hovering around, you know, eighth, because actually it's a special format, and it was eighth place. Yes. Top eight get to go, and uh, I was hovering around, you know, around 10th going into the last game, and uh, passed up Parker Bowen and Leto, two Hall of Famers, and I didn't even think I was going to stand a chance, but it was quite fun. Quite fun, and uh, for those who watched it, you fought your way. Yeah, I fought my way up one, and went to a star-studded field. and uh, One, one, one frame at a time, all yep. the way to the, uh, the championship round. Congratulations, yep, that was great. Thank you. Well, we've got a, a star-studded championship round tonight here, a great tournament. Okay. Um, our first match will consist of uh, Jeff Hickenbottom from Bray, California, a nine-year PBA member. He has 22 300 games, six 800 series. He'll be bowling against a five-year PBA member, Darren Wong, uh, who has 11 300 games. Darren uh, kind of surprised everybody. Nice, quiet, shy gen gentleman. Uh, yeah, nobody's I, I, seen him before. I, I kind of see my star horse in this field right now because you know he doesn't he doesn't give you doesn't show a lot, but you know what? He knows he's actually very confident, very confident, strong bowler, and he can actually very well go through this strong strong field tonight. And uh, Darren is starting off tonight's match. Uh, he'll be starting on lane 13. For a shot. And just dead flush. Just dead flush. Very yeah. smooth. Very smooth and very confident. You know, like I said, you know, most uh, most of, most players are gonna be playing right in between like fourth arrow, you know, a third and fourth arrow out to right in between second and third. Uh, you know, scores are low this week and uh, and it takes really good amount of shot making to get through. Jeff came up a little bit high on that. Left a six nine ten, I believe. Yeah. Jeff made a uh, very strong charge in the, uh, the final yeah, position round. Yeah, last two games he was actually out by about over 100 pins, and uh, he just came through in the clutch. The last two games he went 240, 220, and uh, won both his matches. And he actually passed me up too. Unfortunately, so. he passed you up on that. Yeah, but uh, you know what? That's that's how it is. You know, he, it's about shot making out here right now. I didn't make the shots when it came down through it, and uh, you know he did. So. He, See how it goes right now. Jeff's up on lane 13 now in frame two. Jeff also a smooth and strong player. He's crossed over to the Brooklyn side. Oh yeah. Left the six pin standing. That was one thing about this tournament was uh, you know lanes are so dry and spotty in certain places that you get a little in, it's going to be hooking. You get a little out, it's going to stay out. We saw a lot of washouts this week. Goes hard and straight at the spare. Converts that with no problem. Solid start. Darren Wong is uh, getting on the approach. Lane 14. Second frame. Darren's been on the tour for a couple of years now. And uh, he's done pretty well this past year so far. Right, there he goes. Five flush <laughs> in the pocket. High flush. This was kind of uh, how, how uh, Darren's uh, tournament went for him this week. Yeah, he was uh, he was actually very consistent. He was always around the pocket, always making his spares. Never really got in trouble a lot. So. Mm -hmm. Came up a little high that time. And at the 3 6. 3 6 spare. KJ 93. And like I said earlier, he's had a, he's had a pretty solid year that, so far this year. Uh, he's made about, I think, four, I believe four finals out on tour. Um, and uh, kind of pulled that a little bit left, but it's still yeah, carried. Yeah, a little bit. Push, push out there. Jeff would like to get a strike right here. Put a little out of pressure. 
Oh, and with the break. <laughs> Comes up a little high, mixes up good, gets the strike. Let's see if Jeff can take advantage of that strike right there. If he does, I I can see some. I can see him getting a little motion right now. <laughs> very very animated. Bull. Very animated. Very, he likes the crowds. Animated. Likes loves, the crowds and everything. Loves yeah. the fans. Plays with them a lot. Yeah. And I do believe you said this was. Uh, how many different haircuts in the last? Uh... Um, I think this was the third straight year since I've been here that he's had a different hair color. <laughs> <laughs> he's so strong, though. Good, good double there. Very strong. Good shot. That one came in real good in the pocket. No question about that one. Yeah. I can't read the score this far away. I forgot my glasses. All right, Darren's Darren. Up. Darren's down by one stick. Working on a spare. And he saw a shot there. It's good come. Yeah, he uh, he put that one out a little bit back. wider. Yeah. Make sure it didn't come cross over on. Trust it a little more, a little more extension out there. Get the ball to that break point, which was crucial this week. Really. Yes. Yeah. If you didn't get the ball to that break point, you're in trouble either the left side or the right side. A strike here for a nine pin lead. Well, it's gonna go both on. Get a break. And that one he didn't quite put out as far as he did over on nine fourteen. Not as much, not as much. Got them both in on thirteen. Maybe thirteen's kind of the the tricky pair out of the lane where it's more hook in the middle and more dry in the more more oil on the outside. So let's pick up the spare. And a good shot for Darren. Still down by a stick. And Jeff, good uh, strike here for um, for 11 pit lead. With the shot. Oh. Oh. Uh, with the solid 10. Solid 10 pin. He was hoping that thing would fall. <laughs> He's getting ready. And he spares this up, and it'll be an even match. Fifth frame. And a solid spare. It's a really good spare shooters and spare yes. shooting. Spare shooting this week was key because many times we, you know, instead of throwing one shot for strikes, we were throwing two shots for the for the first uh -huh. ball and the spare. So both really strong spare shooters. See if we can get back rolling here. Got to help. Crossed over, left the 310. 310 baby split. Let's try to fade it right in between the 3 and the 10 there. the spare there with Jeff. That's the solid spare. Yeah, it's solid spare. How's the, uh, the, the, the caliber, the, the, the professionals now, um, while we watch the amateurs down here hooking their ball constantly at spares like that, the amateurs even even for splits go hard and straight. Yeah, hard and straight to like try to take away the um, the whole, you know, lanes, all the oil and all the dry. If you go hard and straighter at it, it's less, you know, you have, you have more likely to get the ball where it's at. Well, that time Darren came in a little bit light. A little bit light. At the two five, yeah, harder and straighter, especially this week was was key because you couldn't hook at it. There was so, so much, so much dry inside of like the fourth arrow and so much oil outside of it that you just you just didn't know where it was going to be going at all. So hard and straight at it. No despair. All right, we have an even match now. It's going good in the last four frames here. I'm sure Darren wants to say hi to his wife, uh, Kim, back home in San Jose.
Speaking of wife, too, is uh, Jeff's getting married, uh, I don't know when, but he just got engaged over a month ago. Oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. So he'll be getting in that married life very soon. Darren with the Brooklyn strike. They got a good break, crossed over to the Brooklyn side, carried it. Yes, uh, Jeff's fiance's name is Rachel. Yep. You see that on his bio sheet here. Speaking of uh, newlyweds, congratulations oh, to you, thanks. Tony. Thank you. It's Your been lovely over, wife. a little bit over 10 months, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Out here this week, and uh, we're really enjoying the enjoying everything out here together. So oh, that's it's really great. nice. Thanks. She's a great addition. Yeah. Jeff with a big shot. Went out wider, but the ball hooked back real hard. Real hard. Almost left him the four nine, but the four fell out. Got the break there. Tough oh, break. Could have gotten. Could have left the four nine there, and that would have been a little little tougher right now. Spread this up, he'll still he'll be down by his stick. Hard straight at it. Yeah, this would be a big shot here. Put a little added pressure to Darren right now. <laughs> yes. Well, Jeff's been here uh, seven times before. This is his eighth time. He's he finished. Has, uh, he's finished third, third, third times. Place. Yeah. yeah, third place twice before. So he can throw when it counts. All right, there he did. That was. That was on the lane that they've been having one. trouble crossing over on. He yeah. kept that wide outside. It makes that good. He has a finish on that lane, too, so it was good to get that one out of the way and try to set up in the ninth the next shot. Darren here could double up and uh, take an 11 pin lead. Darren crossing over to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> He's crossed over twice now. Double yeah, though. That was those were big this week. Let me tell you, I, I was I took my fair share and I was very happy when I did. <laughs> it was very easy to get over to the left side. Yes, it was really easy. This will be a shot. Make a big shot before the tenth frame here to set himself up. Take advantage of those two. I'm sure I'll make one right flush. There we go. I called that one. Yes, yeah, right flush. Very good shot. I'm sure after two in a row like that, he wanted to make sure he threw a really good one there. <laughs> <laughs> now the pressure's on Jeff. Yep. He needs to answer. This is a must strike here for Jeffrey. That's a big one. Oh, you gave it a lot of room. Shot. Yep. Excellent shot. Really extended nice and through with that. It's a big 10 frame here. Jeffrey's down by nine pins. He could uh He'd be, he'd be down. He's down by 11. Sorry, he'd be down by one if he strikes here. And force Darren to do more than cover in the tenth. He's got to hurry. Yep. Over trusted that one a little bit. Well, that could be that point that you're talking about. If you send it out, send it out a little too far past the past the second arrow, and it was good, not going to come back yeah. at all. Past the break point, it just stays out there. Yeah, it just has to concentrate on the spare here and. Uh, Get a good count on this fill ball. And for the spare. All right, he's down by 14, but you know, with so many, so many times in with the splits and stuff. We've seen, uh, we've seen stranger things happen. Oh yeah, I've done many of them too. <laughs> Believe me. There was many games this uh, during this tournament where you just needed a, a mark well, to you win. You need a mark, and you leave us something solid, and, you know. But uh, all you gotta do is just make the shots, no matter what. There it is. That was the one he was looking for. That's what he needed last one, yeah. Yeah, and a solid effort though. Two, two twelve. Darren's on a two twenty six pace right now. You just all he needs to do is just cover in a tenth. All I actually all he needs to do is go nine. 
Nine pins in the first ball. He'll be a, he'll be nine a winner. Nine pins in the first part. Nine in the winner. first ball will be the winner. Just make a good shot right there. Yeah, that's a winner right there. Well, that's our winner of our first match, Darren Wong. He'll be going up against a, a powerful bowler, Jason Hurd. Oh, very powerful. But I bowled juniors with both these next two guys. So we, oh. Yeah, so we, we all grew up together. All through, Calif all through Northern California. Darren at the spare. Pretty good. Maybe I'll try something on the fill ball here. It's a free shot. <laughs> it's a free shot, yeah. Yep. Get ready for uh, for the next game. Yep, definitely. Because uh, you know, Darren's kind of a finesse player, and Jason Hurd is a pure power player. Very, very powerful player. He's one of the most powerful players on tour right now, yes. and, and uh, one of the most impressive players as well. In the physical standpoint, and also in the mental as well. Nice switching, trying a little another shot. Crossed over, there's your winner. There's your winner, Darren Wong. We'll be uh, right back after these messages. Between Jason Hurd and Darren Wong. They're in the first game winner out um, to be the Jeff Hickenbottom to uh, 24 to 212. Darren with the first shot here. And Darren with the solid 10. Darren was the uh, beneficiary of a couple of good breaks you were talking about during our break. Uh, oh, yeah, he had, he had those two Brooklyns, and then he came through. He, he saw, I had not go through that again, and really came through with a, with a solid strike in the night to set himself up for victory. That's what you needed a little bit, a little couple breaks here and there, you know, and, that, and you never know what's going to happen. And with the spare. Now, Jason Hurd is a pure power player. Yeah, this is our first look at Jason Hurd, and you'll, uh, you'll see why he's such a power player. He's a... Uh, is 1998 Resin Pro champion, uh, really prestigious, and uh, earlier this year won his first title with uh, Johnny Petraglia at the uh, at the senior regular doubles in Reno. Looked uh, a little bit tentative on that shot in warm-ups. He was really cranking it down there. And he was really cranking it down. It might have just got a little in a little bit, and and just it just came right through the face, leaving the three six nine. He's uh, he, he can really wheel it back, so he's he's getting in really deep, probably like fifth arrow. They're uh, really getting the ball right around ten, in the same place. He picks up this pair, will be even. Oh, <laughs> never a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> ball came back just enough, just barely. <laughs> like I say, yes, no, never a doubt when it's going to come back or not. <laughs> Jason comes from Visalia, California. He's a PBA member for four years. He's 35, 300 games, and 2,800 series. There's a good shot. Oh, and Messenger only hit seven out, four pin only. Darren's married. Uh, wants to say hi to Kim out there. That's a mental error there. Yeah, maybe just didn't really focus there. <clears throat> Anyways, he's got to bring it back. Let's see if Darren can capitalize early on in this, in this beginning of this match here. Big break for uh, Darren Wong right off the bat. Oh yeah, Let's see if he can capitalize on this early, early lead. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> Darren does like that Brooklyn side. Yeah, he does right now. It's not how you get them, it's what you do with them that's that counts right, right now. Right. So this is going to be big right here. He's just trying a different line right now, what he's trying to do in the first game. Trying something different and see if it will see if it'll work right now. Mm. With the shot there. 
Ah, it comes through. Took advantage of that big Brooklyn there. Yes, he did. Yeah. And took advantage of the Brooklyn and uh, really put a lot of pressure on uh, Jason Hurd right off the bat. Yeah, he gets a really early lead right here. Jay with the shot. Oh, Messenger at a solid nine. <laughs> there's, there's the example of the power of Jason Hurd right there. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he let it loose on that one. Uh, in that yeah, I think he just wanted to just let it, let it roll right there and just really trust it out there and came right back. Leaving a nine pin, which leaving a nine pin for a lot of, which a lot of power players do, but Messenger hitting it right there. Yes. Shot there. Uh, it's a big double there for Jason. Yes. Getting himself back in the match. Yeah, he needed that double and he's, uh, he's right back in it. He's been a really strong player over, over this past year. Um, surprising a lot of people and uh, really coming through with a lot of lo lot of good matches on TV and with that solid win out there. He's one of the up and comers. Dan with the shot. Oh, solid ten. Like what Darren always tells me, you know, when I when I start going, you know, they all even out. I wouldn't even out there. There's a couple of those Brooklyns. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I'll accept it and take take it, spare it out. Yeah. Yeah, on the spare. Very straight. Good cover. Very smooth, very consistent. That's the way he's uh, he shot the entire tournament. It's yeah, very never seemed to get rattled. Just always very smooth, very consistent. He's very strong upstairs, you know, and and uh, that's how mo most of the more better players are out there on tour. It's more more mental than physical. And now with the solid shot. But hit that point you were talking about earlier. You got out yeah, there a little far, didn't come back. A little bit farther, not just, and just get right past that break point. Leaving the two seven eight mini mini baby split on the right side, the left side. Sorry. Be hooking at the spare this time to get the angle for the two the ten. There we go. Nice shot there. Now we need to go straighter at it because you needed what you need. You need to get the sleeper as well as the seven, so you need to come around it a little bit more. Let's see if Jason could put now the pressure on him. He could uh, take the lead with a shot here. Double bounce shot. there. Yeah. Hoops it right in. Yes. <laughs> Jason now with a two two pin advantage. Looks like he's uh, starting to get a little flow right now. With the big shot. Oh, big shot there for Jason. Yes, he's uh, since that open frame, he's been right there every ball. That's that's his mentality. He has one of the he has one of the most sought after mentalities, just taking care of business when it counts, and, and just going after it. He doesn't let thing, many things rattle him at all either. So. And it was quite fun bowling juniors with these guys. We all grew up together and. Uh, Man, they used to pummel me all the time. <laughs> There's a shot. And there it is. Good shot there for Darren. Darren looked look like he hooked that one just a little bit more, so he'd uh, carry that 10 pin out of there. Yep, it looks like he's starting to move in a little bit more as probably the carry down is starting to get pushed back right in the back part of the lanes. So trying to get a little angle enough where you create yourself a little hold 
and you could, you know, get the ball a little right as well, but not too much. This will be a key shot to get himself back between two pins. And there it is. Big shot for Darren. Both these players seem like they're getting lined up right now. Yes, yeah, they're both lined up, so it's just going to be a shootout to the end. Oh, yeah. Tell me, Tony, which, which do you prefer, the, a crowd that's rather quiet till the shot's gone, or like what you had the AC Delco where they were cheering you on while you were bowling? I'm telling you, that was pretty cool. You know, a lot of people don't like it. I, what I don't like was just Josh Jason there, even the 4 7. And spread that up, and it'll be an even match. Um, what I kind of didn't like sometimes is just the clapping. It looks really kind of like like uh, game show ish, you know. <laughs> yes. But um, I mean, you know, the cheering's actually was was really kind of neat, you know, and and all that stuff. Because I I see people, you know, with Rudy Rudy Revs, you know, Rudy Casamacus, you know, he gets the crowd going and they start chanting Rudy. Uh -huh. and, uh, there's a big spare. <laughs> We're gonna head down this time. And um, I kind of like the chanting, but. Uh, yeah, not so much the clapping, I guess. But some Chant people like it, some people don't. Yeah. yeah. So I think we need to maybe get a little more enthusiasm. But oh, but one thing that the chanting and the cheering takes away is the, the more of the intimacy, like the like making the big shot coming down, being really quiet, and mm -hmm. you know, and being very anxious for it. So. Jason can get a shot here. All ten. We shot there. Yeah, it's with the spare here. We'll be down by one stick coming in to eighth, ninth frame. A shot, hard and straight. Learn straight there. Yep. Learn, learn how to just kind of uh, do a little bend the wrist thing and uh, kill shot right at the spare. This will be a big shot right here for Darren if he can strike. Oh, got to hook back. Here's the two, four, five. Half bucket. He loses some count though, so he's down by, now down by two two pins here with the spare. I'm mm -hmm. straight at it. Oh, no. I pulled in just a little bit and went right by the. Uh, yeah, pulled by. in and just hit the four pin only. That's a regroup here and uh, neat, make a much needed strike right here in the ninth frame to set up in the tenth. <laughs> Big setup shot and come bring it back. And there's the same leave. There. Same leave. Same leave. Do you guys do to uh, carry down of the oil, Tony? Yeah, or? a little bit of the carry down. The guys starting to bowl a lot more now. You know, four games now with the oil starting to push down. It's getting a little harder to bring back the ball. You know, a guy like Jason, right now with the way he brings it back really hard, needs something like that to drive through the oil right now. So, you need a ball or a certain break point and adjustment. One time at the spare though. And gets it. Changed his angle on that spare. Yep. Keeps himself in the match, though, with that spare, though. It's pretty much Jason's lose right now. Jason with the big shot. Really crushes the hole there. Solid shot there for Jason. All he really needs is a spare now in the 10th frame. 
Just to spare. Just a spare. I'm sure you'd rather just make get just a strike. Finish it right instead. now with a strike, yeah. yeah. Jason with a big shot. And Flesh is sending all flushing them all down there. There's your winner. There's our winner, Jason Hurd. He'll be going up against our third seed, uh, Eric Forkel. Eric has five national titles, 13 regionals. He was the champion here in uh, 1995. He has 26 300 games, eight 800 series. And should be quite he's a left-hander. Yeah, left-handed. Now, Jason, uh, just going hard and straight there, just to get just to get it out of the way. And he went out to the side. He has the match won. He wanted he to try something one. a little different. Yeah. This next match should be really intriguing. Two uh, two winners on the PBA tour this past year so far. So there's our winner, Jason Erd, and we'll be we'll be right back after these messages. Hotel Casino in Laughlin, Nevada. Our, this upcoming match will be between uh, Jason Hurd from Visalia, California, and Eric Forkel from Chatsworth, California. Eric is our uh, first left-hander of the day up. Oh yeah, we have uh, two lefties, uh, Eric Forkel and our second seed, Rick Berry. Eric's always been a very smooth bowler. Uh, very smooth and very consistent. Yeah. Yes. He's a past champion here in Lake Havasu. Earlier won the, um, the Long Island Open, uh, which was broadcasted on the outdoors, first ever television uh, yes. outdoor event. Uh -huh. So that was, that was pretty fun to watch. He had his shades on, it was fighting the birds. and Yeah, he was real smooth throughout the whole yes. show. Had the yes. shades, like you said. Yeah, he's one of the more working, he's one of the hardest working players out there. Always practicing, working on his game, always getting into shape no matter what. We're just about ready to start the match. They're just adjusting the uh, scorekeepers up there. We've got a lot of new sponsors in our, uh, in our tournament this year. Oh, yeah. Came on board, uh, the Ramada Express Hotel Casino, uh, okay, Bash's gentlemen. Grocery Store. Yes, um, we appreciate their sponsorship. Uh, yeah. We'll get right into the match That's now. That's great. That's great. Looking forward to coming back next year. You know, every year it's my third year here, and every year it seems like you're just getting better and better, you know. You're always one of the, more more. You're one of the crowd favorites, too, Tony. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's fun out here, you know. Like, you know. Like I said, really just having a good time and uh, playing it as it goes, you yeah. know. It was quite. We had we had a quite uh, energetic uh, match play uh, oh, last very, night. It was yes. very. Good. Everyone was really rooting. Yeah, <laughs> good crowd participation. Yeah. And bowlers really reacting with the crowd and, and playing with the fans. Jason's up first on lane 13. Crosses over on his first ball. Yeah, and leaves in three six ten. Maybe didn't get out as much, or maybe just hooked really too early, but cover right up. And get spare for Chase. That's not that easy of a spare to convert. No, not really. You know, especially when you're going straight, when, when you're trying to take away the lanes like that. You gotta try to fit it right in there. You're gonna chop it. <laughs> yeah. So. Eric with his first shot, first look. And Eric with loft, shot, salt seven. The, uh, the gallery on the left-hand side uh, can't Fight. see that the seven pin was standing there. there they might have thought he uh, struck there. <laughs> uh, 
tonight, the seven pin. Eric changes balls to convert his seven pins. He mm -hmm. likes it to go. He doesn't want to take a chance on any hook there. Nope. Just changes to a, to a straight ball, plastic ball, and that uh, just aims right at it. Just take takes a whole lane away. Eric has a, a very classic form on there too. A good good uh, finish and follow through the ball. Yeah, very nice very knee classic. Bend. You know, very very nice and very good knee bend. Gets down at the line, stays down, keeps the power. And you're right there with it. Just strike. Good shot there, for Eric. Eric wants to say hi to uh, Trisha, his wife. Be coming home soon. Jason with the follow up in the second. And tied up through two. Yep, tied up through two. Jason's moved a lot deeper inside now, too. Looked like he got in a little bit more, you know, with, with some of the lights, you know, coming down. It kind of evaporates after a little break. So I jumped in there and uh, got a little more deeper. Jason would love to strike here, put a little start pressure on Eric. 3-6-10 again. Maybe try to make a better shot there, maybe just grab the lane a little early. Because um, Jason's throwing on the side of the lane has been used by all the other bowlers. Eric, in essence, has a, a brand new shot out there. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is. It's, it's most bowlers kind of know that it's just like a warm-up pair. The shot most likely won't be like this. Since uh, 13, 14 was overused, we practice on it. They practice on it for about a good hour, just about on it before the show started. So they know it's been weared in a little bit more than the other. Eric here could take the early lead. That's a good shot. Whoa! Good, good here connection on that. Timber. Eric with a big break, tripping yeah, the, down the, the three six nine for just yeah. a second there, and they yeah. just just Can't went over. Tumbled all down. Got the ball skidded a little bit more. Let's see if he can bring it right back up. Good shot. And with the, takes advantage of that break there. He sure did. He jumped on it. He knew that was there all the way. Oh, yeah. Really want to take advantage of that one right there. Get a big advantage here on Jace. Put the pressure on him early. We're visited up here in the booth by Jeff Higginbottom. Oh, yeah. Jeff, how you doing? Okay. Nice bowling, actually. Thank nice you. Nice bowling. You had a great week, Jeff. Thank you. As usual, here. And Jason with a big shot. Mm, three six ten again. So how do you think out there, J Jeff? You think the lanes are changing a lot? Yes, they are. Yeah. Quickly. Quickly, very quickly, huh? They uh, they started to break down the first uh, part of the bar game. Yeah. And uh, and I can see Jason because he's starting to go high now, and uh, he's going to have to make the adjustment. Try just getting deeper, huh? Yeah. And bring, wheel it back. With the big spare. Good spare shooting keeps him in the game. Forkles are made tough though. He's been here many times. Yep. So your craft favor here, man, and uh, most people like what, what they really liked about you was your hair. <laughs> uh, we were commenting on that earlier, and uh, it seemed like they they like you to come with uh, different different hairstyles. I, I thought I'd try something just to get uh, get myself pumped up a little bit. I know you bowled real good last week and and uh, oh, yeah, gotten your haircut. Jason <laughs> trusted that one left the two A ten there. 
really wanted to get that one out there after leaving the 3610 a couple times. Yeah, with the gets lucky hairstyle kind of helps yeah. out, huh? Yeah, change <laughs> things up, mix things up a little bit. <laughs> it worked out. Oh, oh! It's a 210, but leaves the eight. Well, I just want to say good bowling, bud. Okay. Nice thank bowling. you very much. Take care, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back again. Yep. You too, Tony. Real, real big advantage now for Eric. He's really yeah, really big this. advantage here with the open and the three bagger. Could really kind of put it, get, get, get a good lock going. Big strike here. Yeah, the big strike right there for Eric. That's four in a row for uh, for Eric. And with Eric getting lined in, when he's he's a type of boy that when he gets lined up, he'll. He'll keep it coming. <coughs> Eric right now with a 47 pin advantage. Bring it up to 57 here with the strike. Oh, solid seven. Really wanted that one to take really in control. Very, very competitive person, Eric Forkel. Oh, yeah. He's, he's he's a, a, like you said, he had a 47-pin advantage and uh, made the shot. It was there. Really, the really solid wanted seven it. Pin and Just to keep it coming. He always says uh, he's a shot maker. You know, and uh, wants to consistently make shots and consistently always try to keep the pressure on no matter what. And Eric now with a 46-pin lead. Pressure's on now, Jason Hurd. He needs to start making some Jason strikes. Jason with a big strike here. Still coming high, still crossing over. Lanes are changing. That's what, like, just like what Jeff said, you know. Uh, really shots breaking in the right side. and. Uh, what kind of adjustment should he make on this, Tony? Uh, for this, I would he say... Plays so, he plays so deep inside anyway. Yeah, he's playing really deep inside. I mean, what, what most guys would do is just get in deeper and stuff. You could either do that, get in really a lot more deeper, or what you could do is go right and straighten it up a little more, a little harder and straighter. So um, it's one, one spectrum or the other. With him, I know him, he'd rather just get in a lot more deeper and, and just try to keep the break point there right around 12, 13, but uh, get into like we're about fifth or sixth arrow, so really deep. But let's see what happens. Really need a strike right here. And looks like he's straining it up a little bit. Let the 2 4 there. He's having a little trouble right now with this pair all of a sudden. Yeah, left the 2 4. And spares it up. Up by 48 now, Eric could uh, keep rolling here in the seventh frame. <laughs> a smooth shot. Yeah, Eric's really lined in right He's now. lined in, carries all his hand. I think Eric's uh, lofting it out a little further than yeah, maybe you've seen him done. I would say he's lofting a little bit more just to get the ball past the front part of the heads, and but also to pick it up in the middle, trying to get the roll up so the ball could break through the oil, most likely, and get it right through there. Oh. Eric could pretty much put it all away with a strike right here. And with a strike. The strike, Eric, goes up by 58 pins in the, in the eighth frame. It's pretty much out of reach for uh, for Jason now. Yeah, a little out of reach. Jason could strike out for uh, a 211, and uh, the worst Eric could do is right about 220. 
210. Oh. Oh, then he just gets a bad break on top of everything else. Yeah. Trying to still like plan him out and make a little move and makes a good shot and pays a 4 9 with it. See if he can pick it up. Oh, it gets it right by. Tough match for Jason here. But so far, things have been going to plan. The seeds seeded wise. And finishing up. <laughs> I think Jason now just wants to pick it up and let Eric move on with the next match. <laughs> But he had a solid week all, all week, too, last couple days. It's his first time here, so he enjoyed himself. And, you know, with Eric here, you know, t t keeps taking care of business here. Just, just keep takes care of business. Yep. He doesn't. Uh, he's got the game well in hand. It's his. I mean, yeah. He can't lose it now. But uh, uh, but I was going to say he doesn't want to lighten up on his shots no, and, and get into a bad habit before the next game. Yeah. He doesn't want to get into it. You know, he wants to keep keep the momentum coming. He'll just get the two and then finish up with the ten. Leaves the four, seven, ten. The ball came up very high. He's had a very solid year on tour as well, you know, winning that one in Long Island, but making uh, making many match plays this year and really coming through. And Eric with 204 in the ninth comes up in the tenth here. Leaving the four seven there. Maybe he might be just trying little shots and different things now. A little different angle, different roll on the ball. I see a different look. See if he can find a different look. This will be going up against Rick Berry from Lake Forest, California, another left-hander. Yeah, Rick has match to uh, watch. Should be a good match to watch. It right should now. be two lefties. He's Eric, uh, excuse me, Rick has eight regional mm -hmm. titles. Uh, 28, 300 games, 12, 800 series, and he was the 1998 uh, Southern California Bowler of the Year, and he had a great tournament. He's also a crowd favorite too. Yes, he oh, is. He's coming back. There's your winner, Eric Forco. Solid 10 frame there. Last shot. Keep it going for the next game. to the 18th Annual Lake Havasu City Professional Bowlers Invitational Classic presented by the Ramada Express Hotel and Casino, Laughlin, Nevada. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, nice round of applause. This is our semifinal match between our second place finisher, Rick Berry and Eric Forkel. This should be a good match. They're playing just about the same line, aren't they? Right, right around the same line. They're going somewhere right in between, uh, right around like 19, 18 at the boards out to like right around 12 to 10. Eric with the shot. Shot 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 there. Seven pin. And Eric with the spare. Right at it. That's our first look at Rick Ferry here. Rick's been over on the uh, lane seven and eight warming up for the match. And Rick 
of the shot. Oh, yeah. Great shot there. Very powerful. A little shooting about the same line, but uh, it looks like Rick throws a little bit more of a power ball. A little more power ball, a little more speed on it, a little more aggressive with it at the line. And Rick up to take an early double lead. And saw it right in there. Good start for Rick. Puts the pressure on Eric right off the bat. Yep. Especially after coming off a really good performance last game for Eric, too. You want to put the pressure on him right away. Appears to be a little trouble with little the scorekeeper there. A little trouble with the scoring. This guy's striking up there and he changed his despair. Priscilla Barnes is our scorekeeper. She's been keeping score here since I can remember when on the final matches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, very lovely lady. They're great, great staff here. Everyone is, everyone's just so wonderful to us here, you know, and uh, which makes it why you know, everyone like loves to come back. You know, we always have people we got to get, re you know, turn, turn back and rejected and stuff. So, um, but yeah, you know, anyways. And Eric with the strike there. Eric gets a good mixture there. Lane 14. Let's try and get Jason. And Eric here can tie up the match with the strike. And like I said, though, everyone here is just awesome. You know, we always get the. There's always people getting turned down and stuff, and you know I'm always just privileged to come every year and every year out and stuff. So I just want to say thanks to everyone. Good shot for Eric there, and trips the six pin there. Big shot. Ties up the match. And Eric is married and wants to say hi to Carrie. Rick with the shot. Oh. Came up a little high there. Just took a little bit off that one. Jumped up just a little bit high on leaving the 4 6 10. Wants to just try to get the count here, so it's still, still a little early on in the match. Just get the count and start over. That's to two. This is Rick's uh, fourth year here. He's been here three times previously. This is his first time in the finals here. He's had an excellent tournament. A great tournament. He's always, he was always one or two every, every round, yes, I believe. He bounced back and forth. Him and uh, Carolyn Dorn Ballard. Yeah, they're fighting it, fighting it to the end there. And the messenger coming right at it. Good shot, the shot there. Way to bring it back for Rick. Good recovery. Yeah, they're really pounding it out till the end there, the last set there. A couple guys, they're bowling against each other once, I believe, and position round was up for grabs too. So. Yes. Well, they bowled against each other in the last uh, match play and then went right, bowled each other again in position round. Yeah. Back to back. And Eric here could take an early lead. Big shot there for Eric. Takes a 15 pin lead there. I'm oh, sorry, 25 pin lead there. One more strike right here, put the pressure right on right on Rick. with the shot here. Good extension out there. 
really gets it there. Good strike there for Eric. This really puts the pressure on him now. Puts the pressure on, uh, on Rick. Eric's been here before. He's won this tournament before. He knows what it takes. Oh, he's, yeah. He's, he's Eric's always strong. Eric's always strong. I must say, though, he must, he's pretty stronger with the shades like he was in New York. Yes, he was. <laughs> that was pretty neat, though, <laughs> over there. And Rick with the strike here. Good shot right there for Rick. Rick's right back. Cuts deficit to 15 pins, I believe. 25 pins. We can hear uh, Catherine Doran Ballard in the background. She's over warming up now on seven and eight. Yeah, warming up for for the title match. Uh, last Karen. minute instructions from her husband Del Ballard. You know, possibly. <laughs> of course, the way she's bold, I think she's the one giving all the instructions. Yeah, she's days. getting all the instructions this past week, I'm sure. <laughs> and Rick with the shot. Get up. Even the two four to seven there. He needs to spare this here to stay in the match here. Hey, Carolyn was just awesome this week. She was. Yeah, she was awesome. She's showing why she's one of the top, I believe, top three bowlers in, right in the world. So, you know, women bowlers in the world. So, very strong. Eric with the spare. Break down by 28. Sorry, actually, Eric up by 28. And, uh... With the strike here, can increase to 38. Eric just kind of stepped back for a little, for just a second there. Just by a reset of mind. And with the shot, and Eric right there with the shot. Really takes control of it right now. Strike here, Eric could make, take a commanding 48 pin lead. Good shot out there. Oh. Leaves an 8 pin. Yeah, leaves an 8 pin. Fortunate to trip the 6 pin. Looks like he was out of the 6 8 there for a second, 6 8 split, and the 6 just tripped right out. He'll be happy just to pick up the spare now. Opens the door a little for Rick. Rick needs to uh, get these next two coming up, but sh one shot at a time. got a lot of uh, fan support back here. Oh yeah. You know, Rick's been here a lot of times and always, always welcome back and had the crowd going this whole week always from being up there and all. Rick with a big shot. Kicks it out. Seems to have lane 14 dialed in. He's having his trouble on 13. Yeah. The last two frames at 13 it's come up high on him. Actually he's on a, yeah, that's true. One shot on each actually. I think just by two Aaron shots brought the ball back up a little. Needs to make a good one right here to to keep Eric uh, going. Really focus and determine. Just shot right here. Well, he trusts it. There. Oh yeah. yeah. Put that one out further. Got that one out a little further. Good trust out there. Get the ball out to the break point and splits right between the eight and nine there. Brings himself down only 28 pins here and uh, really kind of changes the tone of the match.
Eric with the shot here. Flesh with the seven pin. Solid seven, and Eric will switch to his, his hard plastic mm. ball. Yeah, spare, spare ball. Go right at it. And spare it up here, and they'll be up by uh, 26 pins. Just got it. So what's next for you, Tony? Where do you go from here? Uh, go from here. Actually, uh, there's a regional down in Laughlin, Nevada. Um, uh, not, not not this week, unfortunately, weekend, but the next one. And I'll be bowling that and uh, the U.S. Open at the end of the month of July. So that should be fun. It'll be my first time Excellent. bowling the U.S. Open. So everything's first time right now. So <laughs> <laughs> just trying to enjoy enjoy the moment and everything. So trying to compete against these guys like Eric here. The good shot there. Wants it, wants it, wants it. That's <laughs> what went around with it. <laughs> Trying to see if he can make it shake and fall. He's spared up here, he's not shut out. with the spare. And that's a 25 pin lead now. Now Rick here needs to get them all one at a time. He needs, he needs every single one. This one for sure here. Rick could strike out for a 242 and Eric could strike out for 247. So you can put a little added pressure on Eric in the 10th there. But he needs this one first of all. Big shot here. And then he gets that one right there. Great pitch there from Rick. There is very high pressure shots, and they're making yeah. them at the right time. Now Rick needs one right here. He's down by 15 pins here. Right here and cut the deficit to five. Big shot here. Stay out there. Oh. Guy just a little in there and is over jumped. Well, that is painful. Oh, yeah. You see it, too. Hopefully, you try to bounce this out here. That was a shot you needed, though, right there. And there's your winner right there with Eric. Eric has a 204. Finishes a 204. And a rake. All the worst Eric could do is... Uh, 220. You know, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for uh, who participate in this tournament. And I just did a quick count, and we've got over 35 sponsors this year. Yeah, that was it. Was quite fun. Yeah, you know, it was it was quite fun participating with them with uh, pro ams and everything. Uh, the first day on Monday, all day. Um, that was always it's always enjoyable. You know, meeting meeting everyone, meeting everyone who helps out. You know, with uh, this no, tournament. When, when people sign up for the pro am, being on the organizing committee, we, we talked to a lot of people who sign up, and and you're one of the crowd favorites. People are always trying to say, you know, ask me what lane is Tony going to be on? Because that's the lane I want to bowl on. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun. It was um, it's quite fun to also be you know a favorite out here you know it, um, that first tournament I came out and led and came a second it was one of the things I'll never forget you know always kind of build on those type of things and uh, and just you know it's a privilege actually to really it's, come back it's here it's our, our, our honor to have you here yeah. well Eric Forkel is your winner he just needs to finish out his 10th frame finish out shooting 237 he will be going up against the number one seed in the nice tournament Carolyn Dorn Ballard on the 
PWBA for nine years. She has six national titles. She's two-time PWBA runner-up for Player of the Year. WIBC and Bowler's Journal All-American. She's a member of the Ebonite Pro Staff. She has her own uh, clothing apparel that's presented by uh, Ebonite, and it's called Carolyn's Collection. And if you want to get in touch with her fan club, uh, just go to the on the internet, www.carolindoran.com, and that's D-O-R-I-N. She has 10 300 games, 1 800 series. This is her first time in Lake Havasu, and we'll be right back after these messages. Daniel, Lake Havasu City Professional Bowlers Invitational Classic, presented by the Ramada Express Hotel in Cielo. We've got uh, Carolyn Dorn Ballard up, warming up now. Yep. She was uh, amazing. This whole week. This whole week. <laughs> she really was. She really showed uh, showed all the guys how to play out here, let me tell you. Um, yeah, but she's she's that type of person, you know. She's one of the top three, top three ladies in the whole world. You know, I consider her one of the top three with, along with uh, Wendy McPherson and uh, Carol Giannotti Block. Um, In fact, her sister, her, her sister is right next her to us. Her sister's right here too. Kathy yeah. Dorn. Yeah, she's uh, half part of the uh, the famous Dorn sisters. Yes. Right. Yeah. Cheering section. There's uh, Jeff Lizzie back there. It's uh, Kathy's fiance and also yeah. one of the uh, tournament players this week. Yeah, they both got a. We kind of engaged just a little bit ago, so we want to say congratulations to them. So, congrats. Say that. Kerwin's husband, Doran Ballin, is uh, down there in the pit area. And Del's, uh, Del's uh, been probably a big influence, you know, bowling wise and stuff. He's uh, been out there for so long and won everything and experienced the ups and downs, so he kind of knows what it takes. Yes. So. And, uh, I mean, wouldn't that be the, the perfect coach for any bowler? Oh, yeah. He, and, he, He's uh, he's actually uh, helped me out. He helped me out quite a bit last week. I could not have gone by without him. Are you on right now? Yeah. Yeah, Del, Carolyn, Del got me through a lot last week. So. Carolyn's finishing up her, uh, her practice shots now. Eric's uh, come over, went over to Lane's... Uh, Seven and eight to uh, kind of throw a couple warm up shots, yeah. just kind of keep loose, knowing keep loose. knowing that that's probably not the right shot, but just kind of just going in the motions. So uh, he he he's probably pretty confident about what he has out there. See what goes on. But you know, like I said, you know the lanes are challenging all week, and Carolyn just was right there all the time, all around. You know, showing showing us how to make shots and everything. You know, for each so. uh, for each block, I do believe you know, even though she and Rick Berry would bounce back and forth hey, between the blocks, uh, she was in Coward. first place. First at place the end of each block every, every time. Lady pros in, and I said before, you know, it's shot making. She can make the shots and really blocks. count. And stuff, so. Here we go. This is the championship round between Carolyn Doran Ballard and Eric Forkel. The first time the ladies have come to the uh, Havasu Classic, and Karen Dorn Ballard is the top seed. She'll start off the match. Our cameraman back there, uh, standing right behind us, is uh, Tony's lovely wife, Shannon. Uh, say hello, Shannon. Say hello, Shannon. Hello. <laughs> well, I didn't hear her. The voice is a little soft. <laughs> As we get the score settled. Thank you. Carolyn's starting to get ready now. Well, a little problem with the score again there. She uh, hit the service button on the uh, <laughs> control board. Now we're ready to go. Like I said, you know, if Carolyn get going here early on, I think the crowd's going to be right behind her yeah, the entire way the, around. She's going to be the crowd. Uh, she, Definitely she can the crowd get the crowd behind right her quickly. Definitely probably the crowd favorite here this week, I would say. And Carolyn with a shot. <laughs> And with the big tumble. 
Well, I guess we were right about the the crowd getting behind yeah, you. Yeah, I told right? you there. <laughs> it was going all week. She just kept making them, making them, and the crowd just got more and more with her. Be, be a little bit different for Rarick than the last couple of matches. And for him, it's always you know business as usual and taking care of the business and shots and everything. Eric with a shot there. Eric's getting a little double bounce on that ball, and it seems to be keeping it from breaking real hard at the end. Yeah, but he's taking does. a little bit off of the ball. It's taking a little bit off. It's kind of rolling up, rolling up lower earlier, and taking off in the back instead of skidding too far and and not hooking or you know over the over under theory. Playing a little basketball right now with it with the lanes. <laughs> I'm, I've got to try that next next week. <laughs> Maybe I can get my average up to 150 if I work real hard at that. Yeah? <laughs> Just kind of loft it out there. <laughs> loft it to the air. Let it bounce a few times. Of course, I'm not sure if Dave, the manager, would like it if I bounced the ball down the lanes a lot. But <laughs> And Eric with a shot here. Eric really trusting it out there. Oh. oh. These are pocket 710. That is a very bad break. That's a very bad break there. <laughs> kind of a little delayed reaction there in the back and didn't really finish really too strong. So. And uh, hey, Van, one of us here uh, right behind me is one of the real crowd favorites, first time we're here, uh, Curtis Woods. How's it going, Curtis? It's going good. I'm just watching an exciting uh, championship match here. Eric getting a bad break. Yeah, you do. hey, man, you really got the crowd going this week, being a first timer and all. Yeah, I had lots of fun. It was a great tournament, great people here in Lake Havasu, and uh, I hope to come back next year and uh, have just as good as a time. Yeah, it's especially like your karaoke, too, last night. Oh, yeah, we had fun. <laughs> Carolyn Doran Ballard now can uh, could put some pressure on Eric that he hasn't yeah, felt yet today. Make a big uh, 12 pin, 22 pin arrow. Got a little in. And just cover it up there, takes an early 12 pin lead. There's a 3 6 and go right at it. Never down that a second. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn with the spare in the second, 12 pin advantage right now, early on. Pine wants to put a little, get, put a shot right in the pocket here for a strike. There with a good shot there. Oh. oh, ball comes up high at the very end. Leaving that three, six, seven, ten there. It's makeable though. It's a makeable spare. It's a makeable spare. Split, sorry. The lanes are really tight on the right side right now. It looks like it's get a little in, it's gonna hook, and you get a little out, it's not coming back. Try to get it. She Gives it a run it. out there. Gives it a run. Gets a 6-10 only. Eric, Eric now takes the lead by four pins going into the third. Carolyn took her ball off the racket to do some uh, some quick uh, Maybe work. Maybe do a qu it. little quick quick ball change or work on it a little bit. Maybe stuck in it a little bit. Last Maybe shot. Eric with the shot. There's a seven pin there.
does it look like Eric's uh, taking a little bit straighter of a shot at it than he was earlier? And yeah, he's, it looks like he's just got brought everything in and just stay right in the, just stay right in the oil there. Um, whereas before, you know, like Rick Barry, but maybe he's not trying not to get in trouble. Maybe before he was getting a little trouble with that, sending it out a little bit too much to the drive, not coming back or breaking a little too hard. Um, might strain up the line a little bit to be in the pocket more, but to get out of trouble, but striking ability, striking percentage, maybe it's gone down a little bit. It'll be interesting to see what he does here after two shots. With a big shot here, and then he goes flush there. A little so more put that back wide again. Yeah. Really wanted that one there. We'll see what kind of adjustments uh, Carolyn's made now. A little quick repair work or surgery on the ball. He's trying to get that ball right past that front part of the lane where the ball is really hooking early. It's grabbing really early, but then if you over push it, then it's not going to come back. So. Big shot here. Right Let's spare it up here. Ball crossed over, went high again. Yep. You get the spare here, you're down by four. Good spare at the three, six, nine, ten there. All right, the fifth frame here. She could uh, strike here to keep within the four pin advantage here, disadvantage. Hesitating just a moment to make sure her mental game's in order. Yeah, maybe trying to actually think about what kind of adjustment or move, maybe take a risk right now to see what, to try to find something. Moves in a little bit more. Just good shot. Oh, oh. Baby. It's an 8-10. Bad break there. Very bad break. Yeah. Very bad break. Right in the pocket, leaving the 8-10 split. It was a great shot. I just trusted it out there and just couldn't really come back. One. Eric could take a big lead right here in the fifth frame, double. Take a 27 pin advantage. In his, uh, in his past matches, he's showing when they when they just open the door slightly, Eric just... Uh, Eric sneaks right in there, he takes advantage right of those, those little, you know, jumps there. Really jumps on him. Shot by Eric with the bounce. Oh, gets it in. Eric shot comes high. Leaving the four seven. Got that one in. Fortunate, fortunate not to leave a split right now. It's not the makeable. Get it right at the six seven or four four seven. Get the spare heel. Was keep his seventeen pin advantage. Setting up for a shot on lane 13. Yep. I want to bring it back after that last shot here. Trusted it out there. Likes it. Oh. He, he put that ball out there, but it came back high also. Came back hard and strong. He's a fortunate two frames in a row he didn't have a split. 
And now he's, let's say he's trying to do is get the ball out a little more so he can try to get the more strikes, get the, get, get the stronger percentage for, for striking right now. Just pick up the eight pin now. And Eric at the spare. And gets it. Up by 16 right now. Well, if Carolyn can find get herself lined up, she has shown that uh, you know when she, she finds get that on. spot, she can string them out. She can really bring it out, and she can really close matches too. She closed a lot of good, a lot of strong matches this whole week. So I'm sure Eric knows that and wants to, wanted to try to keep the pressure on, you know. Shot right there from Carolyn. Yes. Carolyn's got excellent form. Uh, very classic. Uh, for, very. You know, for somebody who's uh, wanting to copy a bowler, that's a very good form to copy. I mean, the, she follows through that ball all the way. And she stays down at the line, using the legs and everything. Really keeps the power in the ball. Strike here for us to get to be down by six here. but mainly to put the pressure on Eric to show Eric that she might actually have found something there. Mm, big shot. Come on. Can I come back? Get out. Got the seven out there. Not, not the five. But uh, she really wanted that one. Still not out of the match, though, yet. Still 16 pins. She spares it up. Lane 13 has been the hard lane for most of the bowlers tonight. Yeah, it looks like it's been drying up quite a bit inside, and, but it's not really kind of finishing as much as 14 there. 14 looks like it's finishing a little harder in the back. That's fair. Big seventh frame here for Eric. Stay within uh, 16 pins of the lead. There it comes in light and mixes. Right Good there. mix ball, mix it up. It's funny too because for what I've seen before is how uh, 13 is weaker on the back ends for the righties, 14 is weaker on the back end for the lefties, so it's quite opposite. Usually when we bowl, the opposite, uh, whatever, like, let's say the left side is drier for the left-handers, it would be oily for the right-handers on the mm -hmm. right side, so. So it's kind of looking like. Eric's gone high here a couple times, see what he does. This would be a big double. Big double there for uh, Takes Erickson. a big 26 pin lead there. Erickson command. Yep. That's a big shot there. Carolyn needs to make a move. She needs to do it now. Need to strike here. He needs one strike here. Can I come back? Big strike. Oh, Timber. <laughs> I think the crowd kind of like roared that thing down. <laughs> That's a real challenge here for her. 13 here. 13 has been the trouble night for most of the right handers tonight. If she get past this one, get to strike. She doesn't finish on that lane anymore, so. Big setup frame for her. 
Nope. Nice. Good shot here. Good shot. Lynch kicks it out. Great shot there from her. Really good trust out Real there. pressure shot. Comes in wipe, sweeps. Good mixing ball in that. And she can finish the mash out. Eric strikes here. Just need good count and, and to cover in the tenth here. Big shot for him right here on a double. with a big shot here. Just flush. Here it came through under the pressure there. Adele yeah, just needs a good shot in the field ball here. I know Carolyn's not, Carolyn's thinking the best right now for her. She's showing a lot of heart out here right now, fighting through the tough lanes out here. Strike right here will win him the title. Good shot and trust is it there. Uh-oh. That was what he did not want. No. 13's uh, been the tough lane. 13's been definitely the tough lane. That's definitely the tough lane night, and that's the reason why Carolyn had him finish on that lane, I believe. Gets two pins here, though. He gets two pins here, though. He forces Carolyn to get the first two, so the count's important right now in the match. Gets a count, which is which is good. Forces her to get two. Well, she's finishing on her favorite lane. Finishing on her favorite lane, 14. Needs two strikes. Just needs to make one shot at a time. Starting with this one right here. I'm sure this crowd is very anxious for her. Posing herself on the lane. She's got to make one shot here and trust the ball. If she hits, the crowd's going to erupt. Oh, yeah. Come on! Yeah! 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 He's going. He's got him going. Shoot. This crowd is just going crazy. She's showing them a lot of heart out here right now. She needs to compose herself right now and make this yeah. next shot. This is the shot for the tournament right here. She needs to really compose herself. Taking her time. The thing is about her, she's so strong upstairs that she's been in this situation so many times, both these players. Yes. She strikes here, look out. <laughs> This is the shot. This is for the championship. This is the tournament. Come on, Here it comes. It's flush. Great oh. shot, She leaves a four pin there. Spares it up. She'll lose it by two. That was a great finish. Just might have gotten in just a hair. I mean, the lanes were so tight. Just grabbed a little bit hard. I'm sure well, she's disappointed. Eric is our winner. Eric very fortunate right now. Yes, just really. But he bowled great through throughout the whole all three matches as well. Yes. Really, really putting the shots in there when they counted and everything. Fought off two two strong opponents and Jason and Rick and really kind of held on here for the end. Eric Corkles our winner, Carolyn Dorn Ballard comes up two pins short on this tournament. That'll do us from here. All we have to do now is uh, is let Wayne Giuliani from uh, Heritage Homes and Mirage Properties make